Hello everyone. Argil integration cloud interview questions. Let us look into question number 41 to 45 in this video. Question number 41. What is data retention? Data retention defines the policies of persistent data and records management for meeting legal and business data archival requirements. Simply that means how long you want to save the historical data in OIC. That is called data retention. Now we are running integrations and it is, you know, whenever it is triggers, it saves instance and, you know, uh, logs of the data, right? So how long you want to keep that? So that is called the data retention. What is default retention period of database in OIC? So what is default retention period of database in OIC? It means how long you want the data, we can you know uh, update that and the default retention period is three days and we can modify that. If you want to you know make this to seven days, you can do that. But the default retention period of database in OIC is three days. What are data retention statuses and provide details? This is 43 question. So data retention statuses. This is you know one of the important question, and this is from the administration related. And also developers should be having a knowledge on this. So we have three statuses for data retention, good, warning, critical. Good indicates that Oracle integration is retaining instances accordingly to selected standard settings and space is currently available. Means everything is cool, space is there and you know, integrations all are running fine and you know, it is good. Warning indicates that warning means low space settings are in effect. Means, you know, data is increasing and you know, uh, space is decreasing. So when it goes to the standard settings, in low space settings, it will, you know, it will be in a warning status and critical indicates that space is critical means there is no space until more space becomes available article integration rejects incoming requests and stop all processes and integrations from running that means everything is stuck when it reaches to critical so we need to make sure it should not go to that state. When we receive a warning, we should be immediately taking action on it. So these are the three statuses and we should be aware of all this. What is purge? Purging is a process of freeing up space in the database or of deleting obsolete data that is not required by the system. The purge process can be based on the age of the data or the type of data. So that means when it, when it reaches to the retention period, I mean, sorry, when, when the space is not there, we should be taking some action. But as per the settings, when it goes to the low space and let's say we have a retention period is three days and when it reaches to the three days, it will automatically purge the data. Means it removes that data. So that is called the purge. We are setting a retention period when it reaches to the three days, means you know, reaches to the retention period setting, then it is purging automatically. So that setup is already there in the system we can always modify that. 
when to go for manual patch so this is also important we go for manual patch when low space reached that means let's say retention default retention period is 3 days and we have let's say we have made that to 5 days or 7 days uh, but before reaching the retention period itself in, you know integrations triggered you know we have received lot of data and you know data is uh, increased in the database and space is getting low and we have received warning so in that case to trigger automatic patch by the oic it is not at 3 days means you know it is not reached the settings that we have set up in the system so in that case we need to take immediate action and we need to manually patch the database so in that case means we go for manual patch when low space is reached thank you all we we'll continue in the next video good luck